What's going on guys? Tropical Fish Guy here. Today we are going to talk about uh, feeding picky fish. So I bought a pair of uh, Scarlet Battis. Scarlet Battis. And they are known for being picky. They like live foods. They haven't been uh, taken to the flakes. I haven't seen. But today we are going to try and feed some. I went out and bought me some. Some mysis shrimp. Excellent for finicky fish. Mysis shrimp. Neomysis japonica. I guess that's how you say that. Not real sure, but uh, I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. It doesn't matter. We're going to try this and uh, let me close this up. I'm going to try and feed this, and I'm sure my other fish, they're going to devour this as well. One thing you got to watch out for is competition. So, um, I move some of my fish out to a different tank, uh, the faster eating guppies and stuff. Um, we'll take a look. I will prepare this. And the way I prepare this is get some warm water, dechlorinate it, and stick a block in there. Um, if you like, I show you. I mean, what the heck, right? Let's do it. Except I don't got it on hand, so I'm not going to show you. So I've got some warm water in my cup. This is, happens to be a cup my Blue Marble Male Beta came in, and I'll show you him. He's pretty cool. He's pretty new. I don't think I've introduced you to him yet. I'm going to put a few drops of this dechlorinator in here that I particularly like. Use it for what you like, but uh, I highly recommend the Anquo Plus or the Ammo Lock. I've been using for decades. I've been using for decades. So let's see here. It's hard to do one-handed, but all I do is put a couple of drops in here. Just a couple of drops to do. There you go. Let that sit for a minute. And then add in the mysa shrimp. Let's see. And it says on the package that you don't have to uh, warm it up or anything, but I do anyway. Uh, it says here. No thawing or rinsing required. Uh, keep frozen. You could just, what they're saying is drop, I've seen a lot of people just drop the, the frozen chunk into the aquarium. But, you know, you can do that. You don't have to do that. I'm not going to do that. Apparently it thaws out better or something in the aquarium, who knows, but when the fish eat warm food, it makes me feel better. Okay, so I'm going to just pop one of these cubes out of here. I'll do that with two hands. Maybe I can do it with one. Yep, okay, there we go. Pop that out there, drops it in there. I let it uh, thaw out a little bit and uh, I'll show you after. All right, these uh, mice have thawed out. I don't know if you can tell what they look like. They just look like little bitty. Um, hey Google, what are mice shrimp? According to Wikipedia, Mycida is an order of small, shrimp-like crustaceans in the Malacostrican superorder Paracarida. Yeah, that wasn't too helpful, but these are little bitty shrimps. Uh, you can take a look at them. I'll give a... Uh, give it a shot. I mean, we'll check out. Let me show you the, uh, the new fish. I got the peacock gudgeon. He's really cool looking new fish. He's supposed to be a, a nano fish, but he's out and about a lot. What are not out and about a lot are the um, Scarlet Battis, and they are so pretty. I just tell you what, I cannot believe how pretty they are. Um, I saw, thought I saw one dart back there in the back, but we will check it out. We're going to pour this in here and see... 
how they react. Okay. I've never fed these before. Swordtail likes it. Maybe the guppies like it. Let's see the neons. Where are the neons at? They're hiding. The baddest, he seems to like it. If nothing else, the uh, quarries will eat it, and probably the ghost shrimp. But I want to see if the baddest. Okay, there's one in the back. Oh, let's see here. He's looking, and they are micro predators. Not that dude. That's the uh, gudge. Okay, you see him in the back. Right there, he's picking at something. Isn't he pretty? If he wanted, he would be able to eat because there's plenty of food here. seen the other one come around lately but it would make me feel a whole lot there he is right there a whole lot better if he ate something The uh, Scarlet Battis is a micro predator, uh, pretty popular in the hobby. I got this one probably for, um, I visited a new independent pet store, not the big box pet store, out in uh, Garland, I believe. And, uh, and they had these and I had to pick them up because they were so beautiful. I mean... I love the, those. Let's see here. The orange cherry shrimp. I, You know I say orange cherry shrimp. They're all cherry shrimp really. That's why I say orange cherry shrimp or blue cherry shrimp. But they're all cherry shrimp. Let's see. The beta. Oh, I'll introduce my new blue marble uh, beta. If you want, I'll do another video on this. But you can name him. So you guys be the first ones to have the opportunity to name him. He's really cool, but uh, focus this video. I know I'm, I'm hard to, I jump back and forth on it, but this video is focused on the Scarlet Battis eating using these mysa shrimp. So it looks like the mysa shrimp are a hit for everyone else. But I have yet to see, and I put them intentionally up front, I have yet to see the Scarlet Battis come out here. There's a cool picture of a blue cherry shrimp. That is pretty neat there. There's a baby. There's a baby guppy, not so baby anymore. He's doing good. I think he's going to live. Let's step back and uh, see what happens here. These guppies are really enjoying it. 
They are eating good. Right, here he is back here. Isn't that a pretty fish? He's so shy. I don't know why he's shy. They say that after a while they get over their shyness and come and playful. Oh, there's another one. There's the other one right there. He's checking out. He's checking out the mice shrimp. And like I said, they are micro predators, so they do like the, the live foods. But eventually, if they get hungry enough, they should, they should eat the frozen food, I would think. I would hope that they don't die because they won't eat. Oh, I lost him. That's not him, that's the gudgeon. Gudgeon I'm happy with, he's eating well. He's got a nice fat belly. So I will keep trying different types of food. I think maybe I'm a bit. I was looking for baby brine shrimp, and surprisingly, it used to be it, it's easy to find. But the big box stores didn't have it, and um, let's see, PetSmart didn't have it, Petco didn't have it. Um, I'm not talking about regular brine shrimp, I'm talking about baby brine shrimp, and. Um, Let's see here, the um, Pet Supplies Plus didn't have it, and one of the small local pet stores didn't have it, so I'm having a hard time finding it, I'll keep looking. But it looks like maybe, I'll keep trying this though, because everybody else seems to like it, and it doesn't hurt anything, so we will keep trying. That's what we do as, a, as pet keepers, right? Keep trying to uh, make our fish happy. And look at that. I mean, this dude was uh, blue marble beta. He was uh, pretty expensive. I don't know if expensive to you, but to me, he was 25 bucks. I'm used to paying like five or six bucks for a beta fish max. But he looked so cool that I had to get him. I had to get him so I mean he's got the blue marble marbling effect I guess that's why they call him the blue marble beta fish and I know you're supposed to say beta but I say beta I've always said beta so please forgive me um, let's see here so no problems with the I might get a, a female of the peacock gudgeon and try to breed them because they say that, I've been researching and they say that the peacock gudgeon is pretty easy to breed. So I just got the one because I've never actually had this peacock gudgeon in all my uh, years of keeping fish. So I thought I'd keep him. And he's doing quite well so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, this bat is, he likes to live back here. I know I see you behind there. That's, but he's shy. I don't know why he's so shy. You don't have to be shy. You don't have to be shy. And then the other one uh, likes to hang out here. They are territorial between the males. And um, so give plenty of plants in hiding spots for the baddest and I would think that because of their finicky eating nature I wouldn't try to keep them as a beginner Aquarius uh, you know unless you wanted to feed live food all the time or try to wean them onto frozen foods uh, but you can of course I mean who's to say it doesn't work so that was a glimpse Ooh, here's a nice look at Cheshire. That was a glimpse. Isn't he cool looking? Glimpse at the um, Scarlet Battis. 
this dude has like some stripes or something just kind of different from the pure red ones let's look at a yeah this dude is pretty cool here too focus pretty cool huh I love those cherry shrimp they're neat I'd like to take that green algae and I, and I could easily wipe this green algae out but I intentionally leave some leave some of that dark hair algae for the shrimp the shrimp are constantly constantly foraging in there um, and of course I feed them um, uh, foods as well um, but uh, Snail's doing good. He's hanging in there. I think I need to feed him some stuff too. Separately. But he's doing a great job cleaning. Let's see what else is going on in here. The white guppy that I got the other day from the same pet store in Garland. He's doing great. The other one I moved over. I'm starting a new tank. Uh, and I'll show you that in the next video, I think. But, um, oh, look at this. That's a good view of the Scarlet Baddest. Hope you got to see that. Look how pretty he is. That's it right there. That's what I wanted to show you guys. Isn't that cool? And they say that he will come out and be sociable. It's been about a week. Been about a week. And uh, I haven't been, seen him be social yet. But we will see. And I'll keep you updated as always. And I'll keep you updated as always. But the uh, Marble Blue, he's doing great in here. He loves the tank. Um... I'll show you quickly this other tank here that I had. I used to have it over on the other side, but I'll feed these. Look at that. Oh yeah, goldfish. I gave you the story of the goldfish. My daughter won him at the fair. There's plenty of, um, I might have put too much in there, but there's plenty of ghost shrimp in there. That will take down those, those mice. And I want to feed the um, corridors pretty good down there. They haven't ate in a while. So we'll watch these for a while. Looks like the. Uh, Oh, the, let's see the grommy. Grommy likes them. The rams, let's see rams. Do you like them? Oh yeah, rams like them. Rams are beautiful, aren't they? Where's the other ram? I got two rams in here. Dominant ram, where's the other? Oh, there it is. There's one. There's one. Is that the same one? No, there's one. And there's the other. Two in both in the same shot. They are beautiful, aren't they? And they like the mice shrimp. Oh, they're beautiful. Look at that. They are good in a, they're pretty good in a, a community aquarium. They are cichlid, so they can be a little aggressive, but not too bad. They're, they're very, I mean, they're very calm and peaceful. I wouldn't, the only thing is I used to have a betta fish in here, and I took the betta fish out because the rams would nip on the fins. So not good with your betta fish, I would say. On Rio Tetras, they're going crazy over the mice of shrimp too, huh? Or flame tetra, commonly known as flame tetra, or on Rio. And these little ghost shrimp 
Did I show you those? I've shown you those before, haven't I? I think we had a spotlight on the ghost room. And they're really creepy and cool looking, huh? Yeah. Cool, huh? They're cruising down the bottom. Did have a lot more. Oh yeah, there's some at the top on that. That's a better shot, probably. That plant right there. They love that algae, too. I just don't want to wipe out the algae. Because it is a good thing, really. It's not good to look at, but it's good for fish. So there needs to be a balance, of course. Balance in life. Let's see here. And all that. Mice is shrimp. It's gone. I'm sure there's some laying around that will be eaten out, but for the most part, I thought at first I might have overfed. There's some stuck in the filter, which the shrimp will take care of. And another reason why you have a pre-filter, always. Um, and I will talk about that in a, pre in a subsequent video. Powder Blue, he's doing good. Rami, he's eating really nicely. But anyway, I think that the uh, Mysis Shrimp was a semi-hit. I mean, for this tank, it was a hit. This tank, just regular community fish, plus goldfish, plus uh, ghost shrimp. I think that was a hit. This tank right here, I think a semi-hit. Uh, definitely the community fish liked it. I don't know, I can't tell if the fish I was targeting to eat this liked it or not. The uh, That dude there, the Scarlet Battis. But um, I think I'd say it's a moderate hit. A moderate hit so you know I'll keep trying sometimes it takes a while for a fish to get used to a new food you never know but uh, we will keep trying so as always thanks a lot for watching I really appreciate it guys uh, give me a like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video thank you so much happy fish keeping peace